Hi, uh, John here. I got off the phone to Manahi just a minute ago. Today is uh, the 14th of uh, uh, July 2017. I forgot to put the camera on. Um, on video, was on camera for photos. Um, but anyway, that was a good um, conversation I had with him. Uh, and uh, we talked about um, the executor of our trust. Uh, our Sadiq Trust uh, and um, how we approach the Government of New Zealand, the Crown, corporations and their jurisdiction in the face of our King's jurisdiction. We're talking Kings at the top end of the King made the laws and we have the legal right and the legitimacy to use the law. Uh, it's a shame that uh, I, I never got him talking to you, to uh, me um, on how things are going to run, but I'll tell you what I said anyway. Um, I just uh, said that we are pursuing the um, Moriori title uh, that the Rogans put together with the land titles with Mohi Manukau, uh, Mohi, uh, Te Māti Manukau the fourth paramount. Uh, that I was saying to Manahi that um, um, he more or less got duped by the um, Freemasons. Uh, his 50 years he spent with the Freemasons and he, he never got a dime out of it, as far as I can see, but we're going, I'm investigating uh, what happened to his estate uh, and probate because I've got all his authority uh, as his executor and administrator uh, of his inheritance or any business he had. He did have business uh, inside the courthouse in Helensville with his grandfather, um, Mohi Rogan and John Rogan, uh, judge. Uh, so Mohi was more or less a surveyor, land surveyor, and uh, um, um, went to courts as well with his uncle and lived with his uncle. He was brought up by uh, Rogan, um, Mohi Rogan, Pākehā. Uh, so um, uh, I'm just uh, uh, alerting uh, our Paramount Chiefs and Bundy and Hedawini that uh, there's something amiss here with uh, what they did with Mohi. And uh, there's another uh, Manukau or uh, another uh, a man called George Connolly always said to me, don't listen to that guy. And they all said, don't listen to him, don't listen to him. Or Machitarawa said, don't listen to Mohi, he's all crap. And that was um, always the case when I tried to make conversation with any one of them uh, in the Confederation of Chiefs that Mohi set up. Mohi set up that uh, in eight. Uh, 1985, um, he set up the Confederation of Chiefs of Aotearoa, New Tiriri. Uh, um, and so that group, I joined that group early on, just after that, just after that, before 2000. <coughs> and I've, I've got everything here on it. I've got everything on the Maori government as well, and the Charter, and the League of Nations, all of that stuff, before it went into the World Court. Um, so uh, uh, I'm following right through on both sides of the ledger, on the Queen's um, uh, Victoria side of Australia, New South Wales government, and now the Commonwealth government of Australia in Canberra, and the federal state government in Australia, and that's the Queen side of the um, corporations, and, uh, and the state government, the local state government, um, in all the cities uh, wrapped up uh, underneath the Queen Victoria uh, monarch line that's corrupted and fraudulent that we're putting up this flag in front of them to um, pull them into our magistrate court, the native magistrate court in Te Hapua at uh, Te Hikua Te Ika Marae and um, try them there. We're going to try them there in the most spiritual place of this country, as far as I can see, Te Rerenga Wairua, where the spirits went back to the islands. They came in from the islands into uh, Rahui, 
and uh, Marae and Tigiti, uh, Rangitukia, they came in there. 1831 uh, was when the British came in there, uh, Clendon and East Crew, 1831, uh, St. Mary's Church, the birth certificates, the Holy Grail in Edinburgh, that's what I'm saying to Manahi, the Holy Grail is underneath the St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh, that's connected straight to my Marae. Rahui Marai, meaning ban everybody off the land that's fraudulent. We're going to ban all the fraud off this land and its corporations' trusts for uh, want of a word of investigation of themselves in their corporate name or natural names. We're going to do that up in Kahapua. I'm getting a shortened up version of a magistrate court in this bag here. It's, everything's in here that can shut the mill down from a king's point. That's a king's magistrate court documents that made all the laws that they are using and abusing <coughs> our jurisdiction. And we have a jurisdiction to shut them down and seize everything, seize the law. So that's what we're doing. Um, I say to uh, Wai, Wai, Wai Marie, uh Rakina, from Ihumato, at, uh, and he's Ngāti Oho people. I know they're at Mere Mere and around that area. I know uh, how that works, but that's a long way back in my head. I'm not going to go down that uh, track. All I'm going to do is seize the land at Ihumato um, uh, early on in the piece, but we've already got um, to tea land blocks and... Um, Waitangi land blocks the seas and the ship of Admiralty that's parked up on the dry land. That's a British Admiralty ship on the treaty grounds. That's our jurisdiction of title that does not belong to Peter Peroni or King Itaurua. King Itaurua is a King Edward, Queen Victoria and Edward bastard line of monarch. That's, he's playing around us at the moment. I'm very annoyed with him for saying he didn't need me and these documents. Uh, he didn't need this, he just wanted to go and occupy the land and take it, but it's not his land. It's not his land, it belongs to these paramount chiefs and their hapu. Not the iwi, he's not talking straight hapu talk, he's talking about himself. And that's not right, that's not right in this jurisdiction. You can say what you like, Kingy, but on this video, I'm citing it, what you say to me. That's why I'm making these videos to stick you to me, to what you say. And I stick myself to what I say in front of the whole world watching, and the British. And you don't like British. You don't like them. Well, they got you and your Edwards family on this land, the British did, under this jurisdiction of King William IV, not your Queen. Victoria or your King Edward. You haven't got a flag to rub two stones together. And you can't claim this flag if we're using it for the right reasons. These paramount chiefs that are there with me have the legal and the legitimacy right of law, in law, to use that flag on anyone pirating our laws. All right, so to uh, Ihumato, uh, we're not going to do your land at the moment, I've, although I've got the titles for there. Uh, and um, we're going to do um, uh, the Waitangi and TT blocks, TB3, and uh, Waitangi 23 blocks, and also the uh, Lottom Point Motel. We're seizing that because I've warned them what I'm going to do there. Seize that and seize the land next door that the woods are on. Bruce Roots, Brian Woods, Bruce or Brian Roots, Woods, you're going, mate. You people have had it long enough and you have no right to be there. I'm telling you right now, you people ignored me. And ignorance and silence is not going to work anymore without this flag going out over the top of it. I warned all of you, including Neil Watere. I've warned you people down there, any people violating our law, they will get the bell. A trillion pounds on each one's head. 
you'll be surprised how much a birth certificate's worth. And that was put together on my land blocks, first in the world on these jurisdiction of authority. First in the world in 1831 on my land block, that birth certificate bond on the stock market in New York in our time, not before that, in our time, that all these pirates are running around on this land under Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, corrupted monarchy. She's not a true coronation queen. It's all been fraudulent all the way through the years, from when she was queen in 1952. In 1933, Mount Eden has got a trig, the uh, survey mark, that's got 1933 on. That's when the United States was bankrupted on Mount Eden Hill. I've got it on a video. I'm going to put it up. And there with um, uh, Jean O'Dean, the American woman that came here. And she knew what was going on here because she's doing uh, native titles in um, America, Canada. And so she wanted to come and live here. And those up in Matauri Bay uh, let her down for not adopting her into their families. And uh, I wasn't very happy about that because she wanted to stay here with me. I had enough on my plate without going through that because I'm handling King stuff. Uh, so, uh, one more sec, I'll just see what's going on here. Other people um, wanting to get to me. But, um, carry on with my video. I don't listen to anybody else. Uh, Tani Rako, I won't listen to what you say. You fellows uh, have your own own way of doing things. You're, you're quite welcome to it. Because you've been uh, following um, how to deal with the Crown, that's fine. And all the other marriage, that's fine. But don't touch my stuff, please. I know what happened with it before, I'm not going down that track. We'll just keep moving. And all our documents are marked. They're clearly marked, sealed, with the King's seal, and with Moai's seal. There's nothing like it. And all the words are mixed up in block letters and little letters and all sorts mixed up. It's put like that for its own uh, style of writing. Put it that way. Style right now, everybody's doing capital letters the same way. They told me off for doing that, and so it's there to mess all the crown's words up. Uh, but I just want to say uh, the, on this video, for the record, that um, the magistrate court is the only highest court of a bank and also of um, jurisdiction of a king, and anything else less of that is not king. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it'll be a while before that's gotten rid of. It's not going to go away in a hurry. But we're reining in all the fraud and corrupted people using it and abusing it. And we will find them. We will find them and change the whole system back to common law. And it can only be done this way. You can't go into courts unless you know what to do. Some know what to do. I'm watching videos uh, online. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, of of just um, what uh, people know how to do things. Um, I've been watching them all the time, uh, so they get some ideas on how they um, do things. But we are sticking to our own uh, kings, King William the Third, the creator of the Bank of England and the pound note uh, sterling, and also the creator of St Patrick's Order of the rent. Chief to pick up the um, land rates uh, and and um, fees for uh, his conquered lands and the uh, king's royal revenue that's come out of King uh, William the Third. I'll just turn on the video on to him. Oh, I'm a bit of a shame I didn't get uh, money, but anyway, money. Uh, these are what the things I wanted to talk about. See, 1650. Look, 1650. Uh, and shortly after that, that's when um, uh, everything started in um, 
uh, St. Mary's Church in Scotland uh, with the um, Holy Grail and the um, Sedegay Trust. Uh, so he is our king, king of Britain, UK, and also the Netherlands and The Hague, um, World Court. So that's our connection with our jurisdiction of our flag, with King William the Fourth, took all his uh, ancestors' laws with our flag into the stock exchange on the uh, stock market with our birth certificates and everyone's birth certificates in the world <coughs> comes under this jurisdiction. So I've been on these other sites, um, take that off, oops, um, oh I didn't want to do that, uh, what happened here, hang on, welfare labours, no I didn't want to do that, I no I didn't want to go down there, uh, I just wanted to show you where I was, with um, <coughs> what I've just posted on site here, this this man here, this is the executor advocate. This guy, executor advocate and revocate. Uh, you guys having a good time tonight? Any first timers here? Raise your hand so you know who not to talk to. So that was very good, um, so I'm sending that to Manahi. I'm, I'm getting all the uh, best uh, videos out, as, and, and the Magistrate Court, how to deal with Magistrate Courts. We're doing our homework, and this one here too, look, this is what I wrote. Yes, they are, uh, what does it say, President Dijert, the Queen and the Royal Families are serial killers. And I'm saying, yes, they are my Crown King William IV Admiralty Court Martial Law Magistrate Court, hang her and her ter terrorist Rothschild family, rid the bastards of this planet, President Duterte, watch, she is manipulating Trump to come steal the gold that belongs to us, the natives, paramount chiefs, legal authority, executives and partners of King William III, King William IV inheritance. Um, What's this? Michelle Collis likes a link you shared, burned a whole lot of them that created all the chaos. Um, so um, uh, what, I, what I'm saying here is that uh, the Queen has been the master Jesuit behind all this corruption and fraud in the world. She's been the master of that. And that's what they have, Grand Masters and all that in the, in the Freemasons. So I'm not going along with the Freemasons. I'm staying right out of them because they have the wrong jurisdiction. They don't have this Admiralty flag here and Crown and Anchor of King William IV. These are the two most powerful memorials in the world, him and Moai statue in London. All right, so that's, um, that's the way I um, see it. And I've put that on in 2013 um, <clears throat> and that's Judith Collins here she's with the milk uh, milky boy kid that they scam that we're going to investigate her as being a minister of police and there they are abusing the hell out of this king our king and our admiralty court martial law and laws of the sea banks they're defrauding the bank okay there's a lot of things I'm saying about the ones we are um, um, <clears throat> pulling into the Magistrate Court in Westminster, Magistrate Court, Westminster City. Now there's, this is the big monster here of the New World Order. Our flag is the New World Order. And uh, so I'm saying something about this lot too. It's terrible how they treat people, uh, it's even of today, uh, just as bad as the old days. Uh, so, um, what else I want to show you here? Uh, here, I'll read this one. I forgot to put this video up from the 1st of January. Uh, certainly looking unbreakable as I now speak for King William III Magistrate Court Bank, Conquered Lands, Prize Positions with the Sedegay Trust, uh, Thai Trust that the Paramount Chiefs are the commercial landowners of New Zealand and Pacific Islands with King William the third Edinburgh Magistrate Court births deaths and marriages certificates in St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh with St. Patrick's Order Belfast, eight-point star, 
fixed to the four corners of this planet Earth world, title, flag, that's our flag, of Admiralty of King William IV, Westminster Magistrate Court, Conqueror, lands, countries, leased in occupation titles, together the King's Prize position, Positions, Partnership of Admiralty, Private Contract Jurisdiction with our Maui Crown, Paramount Chiefs, Common Law, Peoples, and not for the elite Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, two rogue bloodlines. We seize back off her now. So that's what I made this uh, video in um, um, just before Waitangi Day. I speak for King William III Magistrate Court, Bank Conquered Lands Prize Position. I made that before we went up to um, um, Waitangi, uh, just the last, last Waitangi Day on um, 6th of February. Um, 2017, I made some videos there opening the grand jury court in the paddock under next to the popos, the um, <clears throat> the um, uh, statues, the uh, memorials of the ancestors Napui. So <clears throat> all the evil gone. There's our flag there, right? There's our flag and the ship of Admiralty at Waitangi. And here I'm saying this. Um, I'll read it out to you. Uh, so now you can identify our flag. This is the highest king's bench, bank, magistrate court in the world is this flag, our flag of Emblem, with a, the only British ship on dry land with its mast flying this flag on Waitangi treaty grounds. Okay, you can write the treaty off because that's all fraud and put this flag back in control of all its commerce and the 1840 treaty and its New South Wales government in, in, in uh, Wellington, um, government in exile, is uh, a threat to our financial investment interests under this flag, bank flag, trading flag, military flag, that's still live with those kings I was just talking about. My Crown King William IV Trust, private contract native, land business inside Waitangi Marae, King's Bench native, Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court under King William IV Admiralty Court Martial Law 1834 Declaration of War Flag Sovereign Authority Paramount Chiefs Commander and Maui Powerhouse Bank Sheriff Creditor Live Native Surname Men Acting as Magistrates Directly to Westminster Magistrate Court in Paddington, Westminster City, England, UK First Lord of the Sea Sir Philip Jones British Royal Navy Military, our protective, protectorate business partnership to King William the Third St. Patrick's Order and King King William the Fourth St. Mary Church Order, private contract of Admiralty Bank King's Royal Revenue inheritors of the Sergei Vi Trust, legal title ownership of King. William the Third, St. Patrick's Order, St. Mary's Church Chapel for Births, Deaths and Marriage Registry in Edinburgh, Scotland, as bind on the New York Stock Exchange bond, supposed to be bond, stock exchange with King William IV and Tira Waikato Whare, Whare Here Here Manukau private contract of Admiralty Jurisdiction as the Executor Administrator of Manukau Moriori land bank transactions through the British Royal Navy Magistrate Court Trading Bank King's Paramount Chiefs Two-Party Partnership Business Executives E-State and Estate Lands. Okay, so that's who we are <coughs> to the world watching. That's who we are and our authority of jurisdiction over the jurisdiction of any other country who is abusing and using our flag of kings. We are the kings, partner. We are paramount is equal to the king. And that word no one else uses in their authority of admiralty ship that's parked up on dry land. We don't need a bar. We don't need a bar in the court like the courts have because we are already on dry land with this flag was given on dry land. The government in New Zealand has a um, Union Jack flag given in the sea, 200 miles out. It's still in the sea. That's why they've got a bar in their courthouse 
we don't have a bar on Waitangi Treaty Grounds. There's no bar there. That's why they're running their business there fraudulent with Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth inside that court corrupted on our land, corrupted our land as threats against this flag and this British ship of Admiralty. <clears throat> court Martial, Financial Martial, Law, Jurisdiction, Paramounts and myself, the Sheriff. Surrogate King William the Third, Surrogate King William the Fourth, Surrogate St. Patrick's Order, and Surrogate St. Mary's Church Order. Okay, you got that? That's who I am today <clears throat> on this video, um, um, making statements um, and live uh, in the flesh and blood. <clears throat> As for anyone to refute what I'm saying is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. It is the truth. So there's a bit of information about the Serigay Trust and the Admiralty, uh, how it works. And as far as I'm concerned, we take it over and carry on using it for the sake of what the King's put it together for his common people. We take it away from the... We're going to seize it off the thug, pirate, elite families, royal families, and investigate all their assets on our lands in New Zealand first and the Pacific Islands, and seize everything back into the custody of the King's Bench Grand Jury Trial Native Magistrate Court. So there's some more information on it on my uh, Facebook site. There's 90 Facebook sites, or 106 Facebook sites altogether now, and we'll be putting them, in, uh, springing them into action when we start to get um, some traction uh, with uh, our organisation, and we have already set up uh, how to end court cases as an executor. We don't have to end court cases. We, uh, in this fashion, although that's going into their court, we, we don't have to go in their court. We just give them notice. That's what money he's going to do, money that I spoke to. It's a shame I didn't get him online, but never mind. I'll get him again. Um, so that's uh, all there is. That's what they do with this flag, cause war, because it is a decoration of war flag and they doing this with it that's destroying everyone's memorials and not their own so Rome will go the same way the people will just go blow that lot up because they're the ones using their laws and our laws and King William's laws to devastate the whole world and they've got all this going on all, all this corruption and fraud and there she is the Queen herself saying up you lot uh, I'm going to do what I want, I'll take what I want, and and I'm going to run away from you because I'm not the Queen of New Zealand anymore. I'm not the Queen of England, I'm the Queen of Brussels. And Brussels belongs to King William III, which is our partner on our flag, okay? He's the partner on our flag, and that's the end of it. So she'll run straight into the Hainaki and get caught there. So all these things I'm showing you are all the business run by these thugs and pirates in the Queen Elizabeth side and the Rothschilds and the Pope and IMF and uh, federal state, US federal state government, NATO, UN, EU, <coughs> uh, World Bank, Israel, at the top end of it, Israel is the biggest thug out. And uh, here we have this guy, he's pretty good at business, uh, so I've taken a, a leaf out of his book. Um, so that's about all I want to say for now, and um, <coughs> we'll just um, finish off this uh, video um, with um, Zara, my, my, my friends, um, Zara, Little Gordon and their family in Scotland, um, that um, I'm going to meet up with them and run our business there in Scotland. And this is the guy pulling the place to bits. See all the guns. All he sees is American guns. Guns, 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 guns. Nothing but guns. That's all they've been brought up with. Terror. Thuggery. Piracy. This flag is for pirates. They've been using this flag on people and making people pirates. Now we're going to turn around on them and make them pirates. And then lock them all up or hang them. And that's what this flag will do. People in the world watching, this is real. This is the only king's flag in the world that can do all these things I'm saying. We have the acts of 
King William III, 1650 to uh, 1702, and we have the Acts of uh, King William IV, 1832 to 1837. That's all we needed to pull the whole corporate crown business to bits and put it back into your pockets. Uh, so that's about all I can want to say for now. Um, what else have I missed? Um, <clears throat> So now I'm going to do a shortened version of this magistrate court and give it to the Paramount Chiefs because that's a bit too much for them to go through every single bit. That's land, economy, banks, uh, name it. It's all in there. Uh, so they don't need all that lot. They only need the executor, uh, probate, trust, and uh, bank uh, part of investment and interest in the land that's been hijacked <coughs> and um, bastardised and routed out for the elite people that's going to have an end date to their contracts because their contracts come out of this admiralty. All contracts come out of admiralty. The Pope has no admiralty. He borrowed it from this kings. He borrowed it through the Queen. The Queen gave all the thugs the consent to use our admiralty flag of our kings. So that's, we're the second party to the king. She's the third party. All you lot in New Zealand, in the Iwi Māori, the Māori Party, the Mana Party, the politicians in Wellington, the, the lawyers, the, the bankers, the um, judges, <coughs> police, you're all third party in a two-party contract that's still running. It's still live. I actually put it together on uh, Kororareka on the hill. We first started from there and the Navy didn't come when the flag went upside down. That's distress call. See, it's on Takaya Maori Radio, Maori TV. I went on Takaya Maori Television uh, to tell them what the flag meant. It's a distress call. Now, we've told the British there's no justice here in this country. There's nothing. They're, they're all a single entity, interest, corporate crown business running here and nothing for anybody. <coughs> so we're going to turn it back on them and we're the commercial landowners now. <coughs> we went from there, Kororareka, um, on the 10th of uh, March uh, 2017 to uh, Waitangi, 2017, um, <coughs> we opened up the um, Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court at Titi Marae, in, in Waitangi Marae, sorry, on the, um, when was it, we opened it up in there on the 28th of uh, October, 2016, and then we took it across to, um, oh, 16th, sorry, 16th, we opened up the um, uh, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court on the 16th of April 2016. And then we took it across to Titi Marae and opened it up there on the 6th of February 2017 this year. So now it's gone to Te Hapua. That same grand jury magistrate court is in Te Hapua at Te Hiku at Ika Marae and it is also in Rangitukia <coughs> at uh, Nukutere, uh, Toikarako Marae. I put that name there as being open uh, when we had our meetings there in Te Araroa. Tiki Tiki. Okay, I had a meeting in Tiki Tiki and Rangitukia <coughs> and opened it up at, in the Haho 7B block. Uh, where the um, waka is, we, we call it Nukitere Waka. Okay, so that's Toikaraka on Mount Higarangi as being the chief of the whole area. Uh, from Cook Islands, and then you've got the Moriori, uh, the Manaka Moriori uh, from Cambridge, among the Tauteri in the Waikaro, as being the other title, the two titles that's um, for Mohi, uh, um, not Mohi, Manahi, 
Parapara, Mohini is looking after that, the Mangatotari, Muriori Manakao title. And this is business. It's nothing to do with Whakapapa. This is business, commercial trading bank business on the land. And the land is another issue. That's tikanga. Um, call it what you like, arikis or anything else. But when it comes to Moai Crown, the Queen Victoria stole it, took it to London, 1868, and made it commercial. She made it into a crown, commercial, and that's what we're using. The Moai Crown is our DNA. That's my memorial. That's my own Wanoa royal family, Tahitian family, memorial to the whole world, okay? And so uh, between that uh, uh, title um, and um, Moriori um, uh, and Cook Island, uh, Bandi Waitai's handling the Cook Island and the Ngāpuhi Tahitian title uh, up on that land in Titi uh, from the Ngāti side of native surname, not King Itaurua, that not his surname, so he's out. He's out because he's an Edward. If only Maori could tell the truth. There's a lot of them like that. Watane, Neil Watane is another one. You see, their surname is not a real native. There's a few of them around. Even Peter Paroni. That's Peter Brown. Peter Brown? Huh? And Hone Harawara. Hone Hadfield. American. You see? you got a trillion pounds on your head. All of you. You can't pay it, but it goes to your boss. Queen Elizabeth is your boss. And the Rothschild. And the Pope. And all the Rome laws that you're using in your Parliament in Wellington. We don't use Rome laws. We only use the King's laws. That's the difference between this flag that we fly and under native surname only. DNA. Not mixed up. Okay? We've got our Pākehā side on the British side and we've got our native side. They came to us, we didn't go to them. They came here and fused us to them. Got that? Don't go around the other way, Kingy, because your Edwards came here and fused yourself into our native men's women. <clears throat> that's why you talk funny. And that's why you play out. All you people play up like Watane, plays up, they all play up, the ones with the strange surnames that doesn't mean anything. That's the end of Maori. You Maori, go back to yourself, find another name and get rid of it because that word Maori and Iwi belongs to the Crown Corporation and this Queen and all their thugs and pirates that are abusing our flag. Throw away the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag because they legislated it out from the government. It'll take too long. You won't get it back from them. They won't give it back to you because they know they're in trouble. And it'll take too long. Too much legal to go and do that. We already got the British one. And that one's corrupted. It's corrupted. Everything. The Ture Whenua Native Land Act is corrupted. Everything you do with those documents, it weaves here on it. Uh, uh, Nelson, Penta, Penta. <coughs> All those documents are had it. Out the window they go. The New World Order has new documents. Nothing that looks like that. I know because we've got our own new world. It's the old world of the kings. We keep the kings going because they can't use the king anymore. They cannot use the king anymore because they're in a bitter spot of bother. In Britain, no one wants to be a monarch anymore because the game's up. We are the monarch. The Tahitian monarch and the king, Ernest Augustus, Rainy monarch, he's still alive there. And we swear oath to our ancestors and to him to be king of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, and the world for that matter, in 250 countries with this flag. That's it. Okay, so that's uh, really all I need to say for this video. Uh, but if I keep saying it uh, long enough, it it'll gets, gets around. It gets through people's heads. It takes a lot to get this lot under your belt. So as long as you got some information from it, 
then that's all that matters. But I'm following um, a, a lot of logic with uh, what people are doing with uh, getting out of the law, getting out of this law. That's, that only goes to a few people who know what to do. But then there's the ones that are still using it and abusing it. Those are the ones we're after. We're after all those corporate thugs running this country and running all the other countries in the world doing the same thing, and including US federal state government and the United States government of um, America and Israel and all the rest of them that the Queen has given them our king's authority to go and make money out of banks and using admiralty, martial law. Okay? Bye for now. See ya. Have a nice weekend. Thank <laughs> you.